All right, guys, we're going to hit it. CGC versus CBCS. It's kind of like the Ford versus Chevy argument. Uh, you hear a lot of the arguments online, and I, and I think for the most part, it's a waste of time because everybody has their preferences. Um, I was a staunch supporter of CBCS uh, last year after I started with CGC and um, did everything 100% CBCS. In fact, I wrote 20 reasons why to use CBCS. CBCS uh, sent that uh, list off to Steve Borok, and in the next couple months, they added. So if you go to the front page of CBCS, they have a list now of like 20 reasons why they are better than CGC. With that being said, I now split all my books 50-50 between CGC and CBCS. So the question isn't which is better. The question is when is it smarter to use CBCS versus CGC? And uh, I think I've been able to come up with an answer. So I'm going to go through 10 reasons why it's better to use CBCS sometimes and 10 reasons why it's better to use CGC sometimes. So if the graded sales price is less than about $200, it's not a mega book. Um, in that case, I think I would use CBCS. Uh, I don't, I'm not in a hurry to sell. I don't need the cash. Or maybe it's for your own personal collection. That's number one. Number two reason to use CBCS, you want to pre-screen every book for a different grade. Some books pre-screen 9.6, some books pre-screen 9.8, some book might pre-screen 9.0. You can't do that at CGC. And that will be free if 70% of your books are uh, graded. Uh, number three, you need to save a few bucks. Uh, for a $70 book, 60, $16 grading fee versus a $30 grading fee might be a uh, significant part of your profit margin. So if you need to save a, a few bucks, the cost with CBCS at the time of me writing this was 16. It might be 18 now, but I don't quite understand the new pricing structure. And, um, and I put the value at 250 or less for each of the CBCS books. They don't have that tier at CGC anymore. They are, their lowest tier is under 400. Uh, most modern spec books, if you're gambling, then that would be a CBCS I would do. Um, I, I did have on here if you wanted a two-day modern, but now they have the new tiers at CBCS with three different tiers. But if you wanted a quick turnaround, uh, they have that uh, function, and you can get it done in two weeks for less than it was before. My presser says so my presser lives next to cbcs so i don't worry about pilferage or damage in transit he walks them over and checks them in and that's actually a huge benefit um, maybe you just number seven you trust steve borok's grading process and system i know who the guy is he's been the godfather of grading forever he started the cgc grading um, system process um, and uh, i trust him i just trust him not everybody does but i trust him so uh, CBCS grading, I will trust more. Um, number eight, if you hate Newton rings and you don't trust CGC quality control, you don't want to go with CGC because Newton rings are a normal thing there. And they got rid of those at CBCS. So that means it's possible. Number nine, you have a raw book with a signature and you want it to get graded. You can only send it to CBCS unless you want, what, the green label over at uh, CGC, the, the kiss of death. Number 10, if... if um, CBCS seems to have a lower turnaround time at the moment. That might be a reason to go with them, although that seems to change uh, monthly. Now, here's 10 reasons to use CGC. Number one, you want a signature series yellow label. And I've talked before about how that's a gold mine of an opportunity. They don't charge more for old books prior to 75. They don't charge more for books worth over 400. It's a flat fee. So all my expensive books are getting signature series if I can find someone related to the book because the turnaround time is six to eight weeks. Um, number two, high dollar books. Uh, I'm finally... Um, understand high dollar books worth over 200 final sales price i'm going to cgc um, it, it's just going to command a higher percentage is it 10 percent? i don't know i usually can hold out and get same price for cbcs to cgc it just takes me a lot longer sometimes if you want to sell it quicker and you need liquidity cash number three go to cgc if the presser can just walk them over to the cgc facility in orlando and reduce theft um, or loss in transit that would be a great way to go, but I don't have a presser next to CGC. Um, if you don't trust CBCS grading process, but you trust CGC more, that would be a good reason to go with CB, CGC. Number six, you know, you can always reship quality issues back to CGC and they will ship and repair and send back to you quickly. I just did that and they did it quickly. They turned around, it was a me mechanical error, meaning there was plastic inside of it, they fixed it. 
and it was on their dime. I didn't pay for shipping. I didn't pay for anything. So uh, if you trust that you can return it for the quality issues that you've been reading about, then that's not an issue. Um, if you don't have an issue with Newton rings, CGC might be great. You love the custom labels. A lot of people do. Number nine, you want the custom labels. Um, if CGC seems to have a lower turnaround time, and for some tiers it does, you know, the, the CGC SS Signature Series have a very cheap, um, fast turnaround time. I love it. I'm using them as much as I can. Number 10, your presser is a distributor for CGC and not CBCS. So you love your presser, you trust him, you're just going to go with what he tells you to do most likely. Or you're at a convention and only CGC is there and CBC is not an option, then you're going to probably submit him to CGC. So those are my 10 reasons why to use when it's appropriate and better to use CBCS and 10 reasons when it's better to use CGC. Hope that helps party people. Jude's Junk. Facebook page, Jude Snowboarder. I have a, a YouTube channel called Jude's Junk. Uh, come welcome. Come with us and uh, uh, we'll share some ideas. See ya.